Hey, welcome back to another episode of Two Beers and One Newbie. And I already drank most of this because I was trying to set up and I was going to drink it. Yes, anyway, let's get straight into it. We're going to get into Red Nose. Yeah, you can tell by the town of my voice that it's not very good at all. I'm going to just get this out there. It's possibly the worst film of the year, in my opinion, anyway. Um, So, stars The Rock, can't remember his character's name, stars Ryan Reynolds, well, let me start out again, stars The Rock is The Rock, stars Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds, stars Gal Gadot as Gal Gadot, so The Rock is his thing, he's real serious but funny and stern and yeah and The Rock and yeah Rock Bottom and Ryan Reynolds is his quirky, slapstick, cocky, witty Ryan Reynolds thing that he does that only worked really in... Deadpool. Gal Gadot does her kick ass thing where she's really confident and she she's good and she has nice speeches and yeah. That's it. So basically uh Ryan Reynolds is an RT for some sort of RT from museums. He's been chased by the rock, uh because he's the rock and he's a profiler and he doesn't look like a profiler and it's supposed to be really ironic, but it's not really ironic because that's the way they wrote the fucking script. Um, Royal Reynolds is really great at what he does, but he's not the best because Gal Gadot is the best. Uh, she calls herself the Bishop, um, or whatever people call her, the Bishop, and she's the best, better than him. The Rock gets set up by the Bishop. The Rock and Royal Reynolds get sent to jail, and they go all across Europe for some fucking reason. Uh, was, did I say The Rock is FBI or Interpol? I, who was a fuck? So yeah. They go all over Europe, and this was the most expensive movie in Netflix history. Now, it's not absolutely abysmal or terrible, but there's some funny bits in it. So, The Rock does his thing, Ryan Reynolds does his thing, Gal Gadot does her thing, and it works. For the chemistry on screen, they do have chemistry, all three of them, it works. The Rock is very charming. Um, Ryan Reynolds can be funny at times, sometimes it's a bit overbearing. Gal Gadot is really. Like she, she, she basically like she takes up all the screen. Like she is really good in in what she does. I don't think either of them are great actors at all. Like if someone said to me, "What's the epitome of a movie star versus an actor?" This is the film I'd send them to watch for movie stars, and I'd send them to watch uh, any Daniel Day Lewis movie or any Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Um, or Titan that I just reviewed. So Titan is hopefully going to get nominated for an Oscar. Fingers crossed is for both foreign film and uh, also best movie. It will do fuck all in box office compared to what this movie does at all. Not even, not even elbow close. Nothing. We were told this is the most expensive film they ever made for Netflix. You can only say that went on in fast cars, it went on in locations, it went on the actors because they didn't go into CGI because it looked absolutely awful. There is a scene in it with a bull and it looks so fake. It looks like a PlayStation 3 game. And I was just sitting there like, what? That, that, that last bit of budget went on The Rock's food. Maybe it went on Ryan Reynolds' uh, teeth whitening. Gal Gadot's hair, maybe, who knows, it's just blah 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 blah, rock doom, blah blah rock bottom, Gal Gadot kicks butt, Ryan Reynolds is witty and he's a smart mouth, and yeah, and we're in fucking Cairo now, now we're in Russia, now we're in some country, fucking Timbuktu, and it's just like, ugh. <sighs> this is what I said in my last video, I think independent films are really having a hard time because if you ask 50 people that you know have you seen Titan? No. Have seen Parasite? No. Maybe some of them have. Have you seen Raw? No. Have you seen A Prophet? No. And the reason why I mention all of them is because they're all uh, foreign language movies and they're all fantastic but most people probably haven't seen them because it doesn't have the, the charming good looks of The Rock and Ryan Reynolds, it doesn't have the 
the glitz and glamour of Gal Gadot and it doesn't have the Netflix stapled all over the top of it and then they don't have Netflix coming out saying this is the most watched movie ever and we just pull these from the from our own arsehole and just told the internet the rock tweets about it and Roy Reynolds tweets about it and it's great and five stars this and five stars that and it's two stars at best because some of it does work because they are charming and there is moments where you laugh because there's a couple of moments where I laugh and I think yeah that's Roy Reynolds doing one of those things that's the rock doing rock's thing and blah 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 Gaga Duck kicks both and it's just oh Jesus Christ I'd like to see them do something different uh, the Rock did a good movie years ago. I think was it wasn't Get Shorty. What was the follow up to Get Shorty? I cannot remember it, but I'm sure someone can put it in the comments. Uh, he played a really good part in that. He was also great um, in a couple of other good movies that I've seen. I'm not really going to come in and spill them all off because yeah, couldn't be arson. Ryan Reynolds, like Ryan Reynolds, just he was made for Deadpool. I thought it was great in Deadpool. God, that was great in Wonder Woman. Not so much Wonder Woman 2, I thought that was pretty shit, but Wonder Woman 1 was really good. Uh, she was really good. And that had meaning and you could feel every time she spoke as she meant what she was saying. Um, this is just... This is like Batman 1960s without the pow, the whack, the boom, the bang all over the place. This is just shiny white teeth, muscly bodies, good looks. Red lips, glitz, glamour, money, no substance, lots of style, terrible script. Anyway, that is probably the worst review I've done so far. Will I do another bad one next? No, I'm going to do a good one next. Hopefully a good one next. I was thinking of doing Free Guy, but I can't follow up this with Free Guy because that's just not fair. So, like subscribe please tell your friends like i told in the last video please tell everybody and hopefully you'll do a better movie with a better review and still watch red notice and if you actually like it tell me or am i just being a dick because possibly i am being a dick you know that's okay too and um, but yeah cheers